guys. Uh, time for a start a quick uh, homebrew beer review. Not big on my reviews at the best of times, but uh, this is a McEwan's Export version 2. reason that I'm excited about this, first time I've tried it, so I'm quickly grabbing five minutes before tea and half expecting a shout, um, is that I did something quite different uh, for my dry hopping. So we'll cut to that and then we'll see how this goes. Okay, cheers. I'm not sure I'll be able to make this out, but I'll have a go. Um, the bag is half raised out and uh, I'm just recirculating. So basically the bag is out of the wart and uh, I've got it recirculating. Let's see here. Anyway, do you get the idea? I'm not sure if you can see that. Anyway, but the, the point is, is that because it's so... Got so fogged up. Um, been recirculating, it um, all the, the grain bed is so uh, well compacted now that it's not flowing through the, the grain bed so well. So the actual amount of water at the bottom of the pot is really quite minimal. I guess that's okay because it just means it's really, really, really cleaning it out. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just raise it up a bit further and then get ready to sparge. Okay, I kind of missed most of that sparge, but here we go. Um, so it's running pretty clear now. We're getting up to about eight and a half US gallons, which is what I'm aiming for. Uh, the only slight difference that I've got this time is I've got a second pump, um, which I've had to connect because the the single pump just wasn't enough to to get that sparge water here. It really would be a good idea to have an HLT, but I'm really I'm trying to be minimalist with the amount of kit I have. So. Anyway. Welcome to a different corner of the brewery. Um, it's not just the new fermentation fridge, which is kind of small, but it kind of works for uh, this size. Um, right, check this out. I'm going to try recirculating my wort, which is finished primary, so it's into secondary now, which is this one. And it's going to come out through the pump, up through here, through the hops, and back in into the beer. It's not going to let any oxygen in and it's going to be awesome or a complete disaster. Uh, I don't think people really do this. But anyway, so I'm going to give it a go. Uh, feel free to have a laugh while I try to get the hops in and uh, we'll see if it works. I'm not sure we'll see very much happening, but I've tried it with water. That worked fine. Anyway, 50 grams of Fuggles and Goldings. Oh, that's not going to be too tight. That's my fear. But basically, it's going to go in there. It's got a nice tight seal. Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, we get leaks, we get leaks. Well, not right. So I'm going to keep an eye on the um, airlock. Hope that no air is going in the way. Apart from the small amount of air that's in the tubes already. Okay, so far so good. If I open this. Okay, that's filling up. Filling up, see that? There'll be a few bubbles as the air in here works its way out. Seems to be working. Right. I have no idea if this is going to work, be a good idea or not. It's definitely an idea, that's for sure, but I have absolutely no idea if it's a good idea. Um, it's, yeah, so what's the beer have I told you? It's a, it's a McEwan's Export Clone version 2. Um, I've tried it with an Irish ale yeast this time. I've upped the bittering a little bit and I'm obviously going major on the uh, aroma hops. So I'm really hoping, I mean, I, I mean Export really did used to give you a whack in the face from the from the aroma and it's certainly missing in modern McEwan's Exports and it was certainly missing in my clone version. But if I can get this to work then I'm just absolutely dying to try a Punk IPA again and uh, really try and get that uh, in your face hop. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching for just now.
Okay, it's Saturday morning. This is uh, sort of two and a half days later. Last time I spoke to you was Wednesday night. So it's uh, it seems to be largely fine. A bit of a risk having all this gubbins, I guess. Any mistake in it will just you know, have five gallons of beer on the shed floor. Uh, it's leaked a little bit. Um, I'm not overly worried about that, but um, I think it's worked. Um, it's really hard to see the flow going through it because it's so clear. So um, quite hopeful about this. Um, what I was wondering about doing is, well, what I'm going to intend doing is taking out all this gubbins and then putting it back in the fridge to cold crash, and then I'll bottle it tomorrow, um, which is which is fine. But I did wonder about putting the, the bag of hops just basically back into the fermenter, but maybe it's collected heaps of particulates and stuff like that, so maybe it's really, really cleared the beer, so I'm, what I'm going to do is just let it drain and uh, see how we go from there. Moment the truth time. That's the end of the hose that went straight into the beer, of course. That smells a bit funny, I think. Some you win, some you don't. Let's see if there's any yeast in the bottom of this. Oh, quite a bit. I'm going to try and get a feel for what it smells like. My initial impressions, I thought, hmm, I'm not quite sure it was an off flavour, off smell. I don't think so. Yeah, maybe okay, maybe okay, who knows. Fermentation fridge, here we come. Welcome back. Um, yeah, I haven't tried this yet. So, basically, sounds good. Just looking to really see if there's, uh, there's going to be any problem with this in terms of proof of concept. If, uh, so, as long as we don't get any off flavours or anything, then uh, I'll, I'll try it again with uh, different hops, I think. was really clear. Now you're not going to see that through here, but it's just very, very, very dark. Looking good. Basically the question is whether it's got any more aroma than sort of what I'm kind of would be expecting. It only had 50 grams of Goldings and Fuggles, so I might not expect a great deal, but Oh, it's, it's got a hit of malts, <laughs> so uh, certainly not getting the uh, massive aroma. But um, what I'm really looking for is to make sure it tastes all right. Uh, in which case, I'll I'll try that whole experiment again some other time. Yeah, it tastes absolutely fine. I'm not exactly sure I'm getting a great deal out of that, but it tastes fine, so uh, that's good. So I'll, I can tinker with this recipe all I like, and you're just going to get a, that kind of t kind of drink, I think. But what I'm really keen to try on is doing some sort of recirculation thing with the hops on a, a big hitting sort of punk IPA clone or something like that, uh, and try this again. So uh, it's worth a try anyway. Okay, cheers. Thank you very much, David.